Turkey started to intervene directly in the war in Libya at the end of 2019 and, uh, and has been building up. The overt nature of this support is the new factor in the sense that Ankara took this to the parliament and there's parliamentary approval for this military support towards Tripoli. But Turkey has been supporting Tripoli-based forces and more broadly armed groups that are anti-Haftar for the past few years. Turkey is, of course, not the only country to have intervened in this war that is ongoing in Libya. Uh, and in many senses, it's a reaction to the support that other countries such as Egypt, the UAE, uh, Russia, financially, even Saudi Arabia and uh, France, uh, also from a military point of view. All these countries have been supporting the eastern based forces of General Haftar. And Turkey, by intervening, hopes to reset the balance on the ground. Also, Ankara frames this as a legitimate support because it comes from a legitimate UN-backed government, unlike the support to Haftar, which is all covert and, from an international legal point of view, illegal. But now that Ankara has come out in the open uh, with this support, it poses a number of questions. What are the reasons for Turkish support to, to Tripoli? And are there other broader reasons that transcend Libya? So with regards to Libya, for Turkey, it's important to support the survival of the Tripoli-based government because it sees it as its only ally on the other side of the Mediterranean. But there are other reasons that transcend sort of Libya specifically. For Turkey, saving the Tripoli-based government is as much about preventing Libya from falling under the influence of Egypt as much as it is as a bargaining tool to rethink power struggles in the Mediterranean. Uh, Turkey since 2011, since the Arab Spring, has actually seen these Arab movements fail one after another, movements that Turkey was supporting and increasingly this idea that uh, countries that are inherently against Turkey are winning the power struggle, the geopolitical power struggle. Uh, and for Turkey, that means uh, being in Libya today means stopping this axis of countries hostile to it from exerting influence across North Africa, but it also means trying to uh, redraw the allocations or the maritime delimitations uh, in the Mediterranean in Turkey's favor. Turkey views itself as imprisoned in the Mediterranean by countries which it has a difficult relationship with, for historical reasons, Greece. Egypt, Israel, Cyprus most importantly, uh, and wants to be able to redraw the map of the Mediterranean more in its favor than the map that is currently uh, uh, available. This has to do with gas and gas explorations in the Mediterranean, but it's also another leverage uh, for uh, the geopolitical struggle that is occurring. <laughs>